Hello, fellow authors and aspiring writers. Happy 4th of July to those who celebrated. Apologies for the delayed greetings for you. It's also the 5th of July, which means it's the 5th day of Camp NaNoWriMo. I do hope everyone participating is having a blast. And to those who are having a hard time, don't force yourself because you'll end up hurting yourself. In today's podcast, this is the third part of Why Should You Join Camp NaNoWriMo podcast. In everything in this world, there is the good side and the bad side. Today, we're going to continue talking about the good side. Quick author's note, I am not a professional with Camp NaNoWriMo. Everything stated in this series is based on my opinions, current experiences with Camp NaNoWriMo, and research. I am not forcing you to agree with me because that's rude. Let's get right into it. First point, continuous support system. As writers, we all know that we have our up days where our brain just keeps on pumping out words. And we love those kinds of days. But then, there are days where even if we stare at our notebooks or laptops the whole day, we do nothing. And that itself is just depressing. Whenever this happens to us, we feel like we're worthless, like we're not meant to be a writer. In short, those days make us question why we even entered this industry and should we keep going. Well, I'm here to tell you that there's a place where everyone supports you and that doesn't mean you should give up. I did mention that in Camp NaNoWriMo, there are cabins which are writing groups during the writing retreat. In this cabin, you will be able to talk with other writers and share your thoughts about your current project, and even sanity work. Because Cam NaNoWriMo is for writers, rest assured you'll have enough support to keep you going through the month. Second point, achieving daily writing goals. There are some of us, myself included, where we don't really set a certain word count for every hour or for every day. This makes us take everything easy, and when we don't reach that, we either say we'll do it tomorrow, or we get frustrated and never write again for a few months. I'm going to be honest with you, if this happens, we never really finish anything. In Camp NaNoWriMo, the site will tell you your ideal daily word count once you indicated how many words you plan to write. This can help you be responsible. Yes, responsible. For writing your story, it holds you accountable. Not to mention, you can also see the current word count achieved by your fellow writers. For me, when I notice that I'm the one who's behind, That makes me want to write, and boy do I write the crap out of my manuscript. It forces me to get the job done, and we all need that. So that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for listening to today's podcast. It really means the world to me. And remember, in order to finish a manuscript, you've got to keep writing. With that said, don't forget to give this podcast a big thumbs up. Make sure you click the subscribe button and click that cute bell on the side to keep you notified. Leave your thoughts in the comment section and share this content so that we could inspire others to keep going. Also, if you want bonus content or extra goodies, check out our Patreon page. Again, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Happy writing, guys. Bye!